Hey there, this is Chris Gore. Just a quick little thing about the Casio G-Shock. Uh, this is the GBD H2000, so it's one of their fitness G-Shocks. I think the G-Squad is what they call it. Uh, so it's the one where it's got uh, the heart rate thing in the back and Bluetooth connection in, the, in it to connect up to your phone. Uh, and there's a few others like this, so this will probably apply to others as well, like the H1000 and the H5600s and some others but anyway um, as you might be able to see it's pretty much lost well it's lost a good deal of its charge I haven't been I don't wear this too much um, but I put it into the watch box fully charged and it's got solar and I got a bunch of other solar watches in that box and I keep a light over the, that box just to keep them all charged up this one's losing power pretty quickly though, because it probably it's probably it looks like it's lost about two thirds of its charge in I don't know maybe a week or two. Uh, what I eventually figured out was going on I think is well you see I've it turned on airplane mode with the little airplane icon right up there if you can see that. So the problem was is I think it's connecting and disconnecting from my phone whenever I walk into the room and then leave that kind of a thing and so how I fix this is you can just go top left button up here and you just hold it down for a second you get settings and then I'm gonna go down 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 there we go airplane mode Press enter and you see I've got it on now and once you change it I can just hit back back and yeah hopefully it'll be sufficient on just solar if I've got Bluetooth off because I don't really wear this for the fitness functions I got it kind of thinking I would but I mostly just wear it as just like any other G-Shock it's just a, a G-Shock with a look I like the look of it actually a little pricey for what it is if I'm not using any of the fitness things but I use my Garmin for that let me see if I can get a good view of heart there we go. Yeah, I've got a nice Garmin and I end up using that instead. But I was kind of thinking of this as an alternative or a backup. Which I still might use, but I've never actually recorded any sort of exercise on it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helps you if you're just using it disconnected from your phone 99% of the time. You might want to go into airplane mode and just leave it there. And hopefully it'll keep the charge. Thanks.